several weeks ago, uh, we were at the beach. I love the beach. Salt water and sandy places are my favorite. Now here's my idea of vacation at the beach. My idea of vacation at the beach is to take a beach chair, put it in the sand, get a book and sit in that chair and just read with looking out over the ocean. That is my idea. I rarely get into the water. But one day while we were on vacation, just a few weeks ago, I decided to get up out of my chair and get into the water. There are sharks out there. There's flesh eating bacteria out there. You know, I decided just to go for it and go all in. So I left my chair, but I left my chair, waded out into the water. I got way out there and I was just kind of floating over the waves that were crashing on the shore. It was wonderful. Well, after about 30 minutes, I decided I thought I needed to check on my things on the beach. So I looked toward the beach and I realized that I had drifted a long way from where I had started. I was nowhere near where I was supposed to be. Now, I didn't realize I drifted that far. You know, I was just paying attention to the water that I was in. But that water that I was in had taken me a long way from where I was supposed to be. Now, to get back to where I was supposed to be, I had to exert a lot of energy, which is not what I like doing on vacation. I was swimming against the water trying to get back to where I was supposed to be. And once I got there, here's what I noticed. To stay where I was supposed to be also required effort because all the time the water was pushing against me, trying to drift me down the coastline. Christian, we live in a culture that is constantly pushing us against, pushing against us, trying to get us off course. So the question is, how is it that we stay on course against this constant pull and push of culture against our spiritual journey, the writer tells us. Let us run with perseverance, steadfastness, the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Now, Christian, if you fix your eyes on Jesus and stay centered on him, it is going to require effort. Because it's going, you're going to have to push against those things that would push you off course. The only way that we can remain steadfast in a culture that would steer us off course is to remain fixed on Jesus. Because he is the only one worthy of our gaze. And he is the only one that will keep our path true. Amen. 